Hey y'all, it's your favorite Balmy, Shonda, aka the Balmy Beautiful, back with another video. So I am doing a tag video. Ain't a soul tag me. So I saw this video on the Opinionated Sense channel. Uh, it is a tag. It is 25 questions in 25 minutes. And from what I can tell, it was created by Elithia Marie. If I'm, I didn't pronounce her name correctly, I do apologize. But yeah, I thought it would be uh, fun to do. Uh, so the first question is, how many perfumes do you own? So I keep up with my fragrances on uh, Fragrantica.com. You can, uh, I'll insert um, a picture or a little clip. You can enter your fragrances um, and they call it, uh, you can put it on shelves. So if we are looking at fragrances that I own that are full bottle, I have 120 and according to a peanated sense she has over 400 so I'm playing catch up I'm trying to be like her I want to be I want to be like a peanated sense um, but if we are looking at um, if we're including decants travel sprays and or minis that's an additional 88 so that's that 208 fragrances um and i just remembered i have i have one another one uh on the way that i have not put on my shelf yet so 121 full bottles and a total of 88 minis decants and travel sprays and that's as far as the decants that's the last time i counted and that's been a while um so it could be very well be more than that um so question number two is favorite fragrance family and i think i'm kind of all over the place um but i don't enjoy straight up florals uh, straight up florals so I like a fruity floral um, I like uh, warm and spicy um, ambery scents um, those are um, my favorites um, now question number three is how many sprays who's counting <laughs> like honestly I don't count my sprays I spray until I'm satisfied. I would say that I am an oversprayer or a heavy sprayer. Um, I'm just, a, until I'm satisfied, like I'm not drenched in perfume when I'm done, but like, again, who, who, who is counting? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I couldn't even begin to tell you. Um, question number four, where do you spray? Um, I will spray behind my ears. I spray my neck from right to left or left to right. I spray in my boob area, my decolletage. Um, I will spray my wrist. I spray the back of my neck. Depending on where I'm going and if my head is freshly shaved, I will spray my head, the top of my head, the back of my neck, and excuse me, the back of my head. Um, I sometimes spray the inside of my elbow. Um, I'll spray uh, from my chest down, really. Uh, and I also will spray the back of my knees. And then once I'm dressed, the process pretty much starts all over again because I will spray, you know, those same areas, but on my clothes. So that was number four. Number five, favorite perfume of all time. I am, I guess I can, would consider myself a newbie to um, the fragrance community, but I don't know that I have a favorite perfume of all time. Um, I love everything in the sea line. I mentioned the sea line at least three times. The last video I know I mentioned the sea line, um, and at least one other video. 
but I love, 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 love the sea line. Um, yeah, I don't know that I have a favorite fragrance of all time. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, number seven is how do you store them? I do, I believe it was my very first video when I went over my fragrance collection. I have them in a display case by that I got from Ikea. Um, I'll try to um, post a picture of that somewhere up here. Um, but that is now full. So I have a, a fancy mirror box, not a mirror box, um, a fancy shadow box that I got from West Elm. West Elm. Yeah, from West Elm and I'll, if I can, I'll picture that somewhere here as well. I leave the top of it open, but I have some fragrances there. Um, I have um, some on top of my display case that I mentioned previously, and I also have a a tray that I got from West Elm, a, a clear acrylic tray from West Elm. I have two to three fragrances there. It's on my dresser. I'll try to include clips or pictures of everything. Um, and then my samples and decants are in a, a round glass container that I got from Ikea. If I can find a picture, well, I should be able to show you that. Um, put the pic uh, in there. And then I have my travel sprays in an acrylic case. Um, not a case, but um, some little acrylic drawers, a storage container. I think I got it from, I think I got it from Sephora. So I'll try to um, put everything up on the screen so you can see how everything is stored. Um, I think I'm going to, well, I don't think. I am going to eventually have to get another uh, display case um, because I don't necessarily like the fact that I have those fragrances out on um, on my dresser and on my, my nightstand in that shadow box. So, yeah, probably in the next month and a half, two months, probably in the next month or so, I'll be going to go, I'm going to go ahead and get a um, another display case. That's if they have it in stock because it was uh, out of stock a little while ago. Um why did you get into perfumes that is question number eight i don't know um you know wanting to smell good um is why i picked up uh the first couple of fragrances and it snowballed from there um i started my collection really um like i had just a couple bottles but started collecting i started uh during the pandemic so early uh last year uh 2020 um i don't know how i stumbled across um fragrance videos and hauls and things like that i think the very first person that i watched uh who was doing fragrance reviews was the eva monroe and listening to, her, listening to her talk about fragrances and showing fragrances in her collection kind of piqued my interest. Some of the fragrances that she um, spoke about were quite pricey, out of my price range at that time and still out of my price range. Um, but I guess from watching her videos, you know, YouTube will suggest different channels or what have you. So I started subscribing to other channels. So I guess... Um, watching YouTube videos is how I got into actually collecting perfumes or buying buying multiple bottles of perfume. Uh, number nine, what is the main reason you declutter a perfume? So, so far I have not decluttered any perfumes. Um, I enjoy all of my fragrances. I think maybe with the exception of two and that is um, one of my Tom Ford fragrances. I'll insert a picture. Um, and I can't recall the other one. It might be. They're both Tom Ford fragrances. I know one is Venetian Bergamot. Um, so 
yeah the other one is something portofino aqua or something like that but again i'll link the um pictures above um but i haven't decluttered them because i want to try to make them work um i have not given them a a real shot i guess a representative at um nordstrom he's a rep four time for at for he's a representative four time ford at the nordstrom in my area he gave me some combinations layering combinations to try to make the i think it's portofino de aqua or something like that whatever it is it's linked or it's pictured at some point um he gave me some combinations to try to make that one work i tried it one time and it, it just still did not sit right with me there is a note in there and i don't recall what it is but i am checking now Flor de Portofino Aqua is what the fragrance is. It's a unisex scent. And looking at the notes here, I don't know. I think it might be the Magnolia that doesn't sit well with me. Or possibly the, is it Acai? No, it's not Acai. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen. Um, but yeah, something in that does not sit well with me. Um, and I've been trying to, well, I've tried to make it work. I'm going to say I've been trying because I think I tried it maybe once after he told me the combinations. But it just ain't for me. When I, it, okay, so with that one, it, I, it was my, what I thought was like my big girl purchase. Like, uh, when I was purchasing fragrances, it was Tom Ford. It was 200 and some odd dollars. Yeah, I'm going to be smelling bomb. No. And I think I smelled it. I think I, I don't think that was a blind buy. But um, smelling a scent, like on a piece of paper, or briefly smelling it, bursting is wearing it on your skin. We know are two different things. So, yeah. Um. I still have it, but I don't know. I might, tr I might let my son try it because um, he it might just smell different on his body chemistry. But yeah, I'm rambling. Um, so yeah, those are the ones I would consider decluttering, but I have not decluttered as of yet. Um, what perfumes have you totally used up? Not a one. <laughs> not one. I don't even have very noticeable dents in any of my perfumes um i would like to you know use a bottle up but i don't see that happening anytime soon just based off of the number of fragrances that i have um let's see here favorite perfume youtube channels to watch so that would be opinionated sense um like i said i I watched this video, this tag video on her channel. Um, I also enjoy watching my boo, Keetra, Fat Vines by Keetra. She is gorgeous and she, I followed her on uh, Instagram and I feel like she has uh, supported me um, on my YouTube journey. Keetra has, uh, this is not what this is about, but y'all gonna get this Keetra has like reposted um my post saying that i have a new video up on my channel she likes my videos she comments i appreciate her so much so yeah Keetra, <laughs> love her um ai the great i enjoy watching her videos um i was gonna say mandy glam but like i said i think i, I don't know if i said in this video or in my last video but she changed her name uh the amanda marie i enjoy watching her videos um i am going through because <laughs> i can't remember anybody's name but i'm going through now to see who i watch amy glam i enjoy her videos um sheree lewis um queen comms uh, Karina Waldron and that's all that's showing up in my watch later right now so there may be some other people out there um, 
but those are the ones that are showing up right now if I can think of anybody else um, while editing the video oh these straps y'all if I can think of anybody else while edit, when I'm editing the video I will um, link their channels um, down below very first perfume you ever bought because of a YouTuber. So back in September, I purchased Gentle Fluidity Gold by Maison Francis Kirkjean. And I don't know who influenced that purchase, but um, yeah, so that was like my first niche perfume, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, that would be the first purchase because of a YouTuber. Um, number 13, what is the goal for your perfume collection? I don't have a goal necessarily. I just want to smell good day in and day out. Uh, I want to have options. There are 365 days in the year. I'm currently sitting at, like I said before, we're including my decants for 200 and I forgot the number 200 some my fragrances so I have a couple more fragrances to go so that I can wear one every day and then if we double that I need whatever 365 times 2 is so that I can wear one in the morning one in the at night I just you know I just want to continue to grow the collection I guess you could say I don't have any other goal outside of that uh, most expensive perfume you ever bought so I don't know because I'm not paying I'm not paying full price for a lot of these fragrances um, I'm looking at my phone so I bought the gentle fluidity gold um, at a discount I bought it for $212.49 um, I bought Delina for $209.25. The hell is wrong with me? I bought Tibet for $244.94. Oh, hmm, this just reminded me. I bought, and I have to pull it up because I don't know the price, but I did pay full price for my um, Bond fragrance I have um, New York Nights I did not purchase a the largest bottle oh so you know what no I it wouldn't even I didn't pay as much for it I bought the 1.7 ounce bottle and that was 260 so going back looking at some of these other fragrances yeah that wasn't even the most expensive fragrance so so far it looks like to be and I don't, I don't know what the hell I was going through but um, I got it at a discount it was $279.99 but whatever discount code I had or used I got it for $244.94 um, yeah clearly I be out here on some other stuff I don't know I don't know so why did I do that but I'm pleased with the purchase. I guess you know if that makes if that make it any better. I don't think it does, but yeah. Um let's see here. Best blind buy in recent memory. Rose's greeting. Um I had heard I can't remember the real name, but Cherry C V. I I heard her when I, you know, it's been a couple months ago. It might have been earlier this year. But she would mention Rose's Greedy. And I think one of the fragrances. Something with some chocolate in it. She mentioned those in her video. And just based on that. And how she you know, went on and on about the fragrances. I was intrigued. And I wanted to get it. After I purchased. I also have Holidays and Instant Crush. I think I had smelled Holidays. No. I think I had smelled Instant Crush. But based on reviewers and the notes on for Grantica I bought instant crush so no wait I bought holidays sorry so holidays and roses greeting were the best um blind buys in recent memory your partner's favorite scent on you I don't have a partner so yeah move right along um if you had a signature scent so I guess the 
if I had a signature scent, what would it be? Child, I don't know. I know y'all sick of hearing me talk about the sea line. Anything from the sea line, um, Deluxe or um, shit. Deluxe or Kirk or Kirk A from uh, Tiziana Terenzi. Cassapia from Tiziana Terenzi. Roses Greedy from Mansara. Femininity, which is on the way, from Mansara. Um, Lord, I can't think of time. Love Don't Be Shy. Uh, Woman in Gold. Black Phantom. Uh, Princess. Kissing. Uh... Baccarat Rouge 540, Gentle, Gentle Fluidity Gold. How am I supposed to be? How? how? Any one of those. Oh, those are um, those are really, really good. But I don't know that I would ever, I could ever have a signature scene just based off the collection I have. Um, let's see here. Dupe houses, yes or no? I mean, I guess I don't have any from any dupe houses. I was looking at uh, making a purchase from Dossier, and I still might before the weekend is out, but I want to go to the cosmetic company store. I think that's the name of it. To see what they have on tomorrow. If I can't find anything there uh, that I want, then I probably will purchase something from uh, Dossier. Um... How often do you wear perfume? Every single day. Every day. Every day. There was a point where, I don't know if I got bored or my memory is not the best. So like I would forget to put on perfume. But there was a little period of time where I went without wearing it. But um, I'm making it, uh, I'm making sure, you know, I'm making it a priority to wear these fragrances because They'll eventually go bad and you know i don't want to uh, feel like i wasted my money so i'm trying to get my get all the use i can out of them at this point um last perfume you let go of last perfume you let go of and why i ain't let none of them go none of them they may why like why why i'm gonna let them go no but like i mentioned earlier um Two of the time four fragrances that I don't I don't love Venetian Bergamot and the Flora de Portofino de Aqua, whatever it was. Those may be I may be finding another home for those at some point. Um perfume you'd most like to buy. All of them. All of them. Do you hear me? All of them. <laughs> no. Um I do, as I mentioned earlier, um, with the Fragrantica, you can have uh, shelves um, of fragrances. And I do have a wish list. Um, and my wish list contains 123 fragrances. So, I want a lot of them. I want a lot. So just thinking of, uh, well not even thinking of time, it's some that I want, I, in my mind I want, I haven't smelled them, but wish list, want list. Um, what I have smelled, um, Greenwich Village, Tribeca, those are by Bond Number 9, I want those. Um, Spirito Fiorentini, Fiorentino, excuse me, um, I hear... AI the Great talks about that one quite often, so I haven't smelled it, but I mean, just based off of her, um, I want to try it. Um, Jump Up and Kiss Me Ecstatic by Clive Christian. I have not smelled that, but I watched somebody's video. She's not a regular um, fragrance reviewer, but she talked about that and, and made me want to try it. Another um, fragrance, Cairo by Penn Halligan. Um, there is one that's very, very pricey that Miss A.I. the Great speaks about. And recently I've seen someone else speak about, um, oh, it's, um, Abracadabra. 
Okay, so Kriegler um, is very pricey. It's Amacadab or something. Um, I'll put a picture up um, so you guys can see what I'm talking about and a link down below in case you want to see um, the price of it. Um, so let's see here. Perfume everyone else seems to like that you don't. The only one I can think of is Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue. I absolutely well. I haven't smelled it in a while, but I purchased it. Well, um, a guy I was dating purchased it for me um, some years ago, and that thing had to go back to the store. Like I could not, I could not stand it. And just based off of that memory alone, how much I hated it, I refuse to smell it again. I see people um, mentioning flankers of it. I'm too scared that they might have that same, that original DNA in it. I don't want no parts of light blue. I can have it. I just, I don't want it. Favorite thing about perfume in general. I, I mean, it smells good. <laughs> um, it's, it can also be, um, well, it can be a mood enhancer. Um, sometimes I'm just feeling kind of, mm -hmm. you know, whole hum, kind of blah. If I put on a really nice fragrance, you know, I'm not going to say that all my problems are gone or I'm just, you know, everything's okay. But, you know, it makes you feel a little better um, at the time, you know. So, yeah, it just it being a mood enhancer. Are you a blind buyer or a try before you buy? I would say I'm a little bit of both. Depending on the <laughs> depending on the price, I do have a few blind buys, not too too many. Um, if it's an expensive perfume, like unless you know that you can return it, it doesn't make sense to me to to blind buy. Like I, and before I purchase from anybody, I'm reading a return policy. You know, I just can't. I don't have any money to throw away. I need I need to know that if I don't like this, I can. I get all my coin back. I mean, y'all can have, you know, I, I pay for the shipping and ship it back to you. Or if you don't want to refund the shipping and handling, that's fine. But I need to bulk up my money back. So, yeah, I'm going to, I guess I lean more <laughs> towards try before you buy. Um, and the last question, number 25. If you created your own perfume, what would it smell like? What would the notes be? I don't know what it would smell like. Um, I don't even know that I'm creative enough to create my own fragrance. But some notes that I enjoy are like patchouli and amber, um, sandalwood. I enjoy some musk. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess it will have some of those notes in it. Um, if you mix it all up in a pot, I don't know what the hell it's going to smell like, but, you know, those again will be uh, some of the notes in my fragrance. So, yeah, um, that is it uh, for this tag video or this video in general. 25 questions in 25 minutes. I don't know how many minutes I've been going, but, you know, I'll try to narrow it down to 25 minutes or less. Um, so, yeah. Go ahead, if you haven't done so already, um, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified uh, every time that I upload a video. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, bye.